What is this? This knife is dirty. Did you wash this knife? Yes, ma. I washed it with water and soap. You washed it with water and soap and it is like this. Take this knife and go and wash it. Come back here! Did I ask you to get me watermelon? Yes, ma. You said I should bring watermelon. Liar! I asked you to get me oranges. Take this thing away and get me oranges. Come back here! Have you asked me how many oranges I will take? I'm sorry, ma. How many oranges do you want? Question. Come on back and get me my usual. Yes, ma'am. Lazy girl. Well, the only thing you know how to do is eat my food in this house. Food, 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 food. Obi, you have to take it easy with this girl. She can only do one thing at a time. And besides, you should be very mindful of your condition. Chief, you are the one encouraging this girl's laziness. And I don't like it. Did I bring this girl to this house only to eat my food? It's okay. It's she okay. doesn't know how to walk. She doesn't know anything. I say it's all right. Just take she it. She just brought me a dirty, dirty knife. Now. I'm telling you Take this. it easy. Ah. It's all right. Let me go. Relax, huh? Bye bye. <laughs> so I'll see you later. Okay. I just told you to take it easy, eh? Ah! Oh, I hold it. I am Susan! Come, 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 come. Ah! It's okay. Oh, now hold it, hold it. Ah! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Ah! It's okay. My waist. Oh, oh, oh. My waist is okay. Take it easy. Eh? Yeah. Uh, get me back, get my me back. My waist, go. My waist. It's okay, man. Ah! It's my okay. waist is on fire, hold it. Hold it. Oh! I just told you to take it. Oh! Oh! Ah! Let's go. Let's go. Hold it, sir. Oh. Hold it, sir. Madam, do you pick a bag? I'm busy with her now. Ah, I just want to send Tinera. No, it's me. My hands cross. Who wants to send Tinera? I don't know about it. My hands. I don't want to do so good. What do you mean? No, please, I don't want to do it. 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 That's why it's 30 Tinera. Give me a minute. I'll stop it. I'm with it. That's why it's 30. Are you alright? Madam, are you okay? I'm alright. Are you sure you're alright? She will sell for you. I'm alright. Madam, please don't sell for me. She will sell for you. I don't want her to sell for you. She will sell for them. Thank you, Sammy. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm not sure. 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 I'm not
all day. Eh? These children have not eaten anything since morning. And Kechi is done with the money and there's no drugs for her. It's not you I'm talking to. Even if it's money for one cup of rice, let me go and buy for, and buy for them. You please, now. Eh? Try and see whether you can get money from somewhere. Please. I should go and look for money from who? Who will lend me? My business has closed down. We've eaten the profits. We've eaten the capital. Where will I go and get money from again? Do something now. What do you want me to do now? Eh? You know that since Alaji took his boss from me, people have been promising me of another boss. And it's not forthcoming. Hey! I think myself. By the way, I gave you some money yesterday. 150 naira. Yes, what happened to it? Didn't we eat yesterday night? I used that money to, to cook soup. I bought Gary. I bought kerosene from that same money and you expect it to remain. Eh? Okay, let me get to the motor park and see whether I can get some money from my friends. Huh? This is what you should have said now. You can't be watching this with a lot of fun I'm not a madman. I've come to see Chief. He's my friend. Ah, which can happen with that? Eh? Chief, they tell say Chief they do they play with Adoro now. Abi, carry this your body come on here before I fuck you like madman. Come on, go! I'm not a madman. Ma! No, you've not left 
with your job to play with a drunkard. Ah, madam, he's not drunk. He is mad. I asked him to go. He doesn't want to go. He says he's looking for a ship. Hey! You go away! Go away! This is not an asylum. Madam, I'm not a madman. Ah, you won't fight. Come on. You go. I'm not a madman. I'm going to see Chief. He's my friend. Chief Ben Obi, what is going on here? This madman is just disturbing everybody. I don't know. He says he's come to see you. Yes? Chief, it's me. Can't you recognize me? No. I can't recognize you. Leonard Ibekwe, we attended Baptist Primary School at Papa together. Papa Baptist Primary School. You and I were very close in class. You, you Ibekwe. Ibekwe. My goodness. Ben, it's me. Oh, no. Leo. Leave him. He's dirty looking. Oh, just dirty wait looking. a minute. What's been happening to you all these years? Just look at you. Such a slave, chief. I can't believe this. Oh my God. I want you to see me immediately. Let me know what is happening to you. Just look at you. This is my card. Come to the office and see me tomorrow by 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock? Yes. I'll, I'll be in so, is this kind of dirty looking people that you know? Please, let's go. We are supposed to be going out. life chief. Immediately after we finished primary school, my parents died. And since then, life has become a big struggle for me. Mm -hmm. I, I found myself doing one menial job to the other and ended up as a bus driver. Oh my God. So what can I do for you? Chief, please, anything. I'm ready to do anything. Any job. I see. I was thinking of engaging a new driver for my family. Would you want to take up such job for the meantime? Talk yes, I'll do it, Chief. I'm a professional driver. Yeah, at least that will keep us yes, very yes. close. Yeah. That's, that would be nice. All right, you can start tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. yes. Oh, okay, Chief. That would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yes. 
Just keep this. Chief, hold this for me. No, just hold it for the meantime. Chief, Chief, I don't know how to thank you. God will surely reward you for this. Okay. Ah. It's okay, it's okay. Just do your best and I'm sure everything will be okay. God will reward you for this. <laughs> Uh, please greet your family. Okay, Chief. Yes. Thank you very much. I'm happy to see you again. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. It's all right. God bless you. It's okay. It's all right. Slow was so terrible. One tank I just blocked the road and I had to come here with a camera. Hey, explain me the details of those your flimsy excuses. I'm sick and tired of them. Take me out of this place. Where is he going to again now? Why are you wasting my time? Okay, Hurry up! Where is Dauda? You think I'm as lazy as you? You are here wasting my time. Eh? No wonder you live in such a miserable life. Where is he going? Car owner, you want to sit down? Come, stop wasting my time. Come and open the door. Where? Come and open this door. You lazy thing. And make sure you stand here. I enter inside and you lock the door. What are you doing here? Uh, this is my house. Your house? Yes. How? How's Danjuma? Oh my god, who is Danjuma? Danjuma is the one that gave me this house. Danjuma gave you this place? Yes. Oh my god. This is my property. Huh? I've huh? already spent 58 million. I just came back from Italy last night to come and inspect the property and you're telling me that this is your house. What is happening there? Who are those things? Who are those people there? And what's all those things? Uh, my property. You guys have turned my house into a refugee camp or what? Sir, we can wow. explain. You see, where we were living before, the landlords threw us out. Yes. Yeah. So Danjuma now gave us here to be managing until we get a new place. Is that, yeah, is that true? Managing. In yeah. fact, I'm giving you people two minutes to get those things out of this place or else. Sorry, sir. Sir, so we will leave. Just give us a little time, yeah. please, to get another place. Anyway, wait. Anyway. Yeah. Hello. Is that the DPO? Please, oh, sir. thank God you're there. Dipio, this is Collins. I just came back from Italy last night, you know. So I went to inspect my property and I saw some people I can't understand telling me that the place belongs to them, that one Danjima or whatever mm -hmm. gave them the place. Please, Dipio, I want you to do me a favor. Just send me some of your boys. Yeah. <laughs>
happening. Just look at the time. You know, I'm not happy with your attitude towards your job. My wife has been complaining about your lateness to work. And look at it. You've just repeated the same thing. I'm supposed to be in the office by now. I'm sorry, Chief. It's not been easy for me, Chief. Yesterday, the owner of the uncompleted building we were squatting in came and threw our things out. What? You mean you've been staying in an uncompleted building all this while? Yes, Chief. But why didn't you tell me? Uh, well, I've been trying to gather some money to see whether I can get a new place. But it's not been possible. Get, uh, oh, my God. You see, as I'm talking now, my wife is at Shangisha. My children, they're all at Ikoto. I don't have anywhere to put my head now. It's okay. My boy's quarter is empty. I want you to move in there with your family immediately. Oh, God will bless you, too. It's okay. Uh, you do that later. Let's go. I'm late. Let's uh, go. Okay. <laughs> Are you listening to what I'm saying? I said I don't want to see those haggard looking people in my compound. You have assisted them enough, haven't you? Uh, please, my dear. Just take it easy. It's just for a while. I don't care if it is just for one second. I don't care. Listen, Obiageli. Leonard was my best friend in the primary school. He don't know much about us. He's in this condition today because he lost both parents immediately after a primary school. Yes. A very brilliant boy then with a large heart. Oh, so now you want to become his parent in his old age? Benson, look into my own opinion. I just said I don't want to see them here. Period. I'm afraid that is too late. I've already asked them to move in. Eh? Oh, you have already asked them to move in. Because you live here alone. You don't need my consent to do anything again, eh? Oh, you don't need my consent. You live here alone. Okay. Let us see how you will achieve this your arrangement with them. Gardner swept this compound this morning. You thought. You thought the gardener. Are you did you come here to query me? You thought the gardener swept this place. So if it is untidy, or if I feel that the gardener did not sweep it very well, and I told Obina to sweep it, you will come and query me. How dare you? You thought. Stand there and keep thinking. Sweep it well. You won't teach your child how to work very hard. So that you won't turn out a lazy man like your husband. Don't teach him. Keep thinking and keep asking me questions. Come on, get my compound and I'm thinking that I will soon send out that now, so that you.
Dr. Nandi. You are taking me from the port. Please stop accusing me. Ah, every time Susan and you. Don't talk to me. Your mommy was here about this. Let that hear. Ah, why are you people shouting? What is going on here? Mommy, you know Susan. Susan is accusing me that I took me from the port. Ah, Clifford. <laughs> what happened? I, I caught him stealing meat from the port. Me. Did you? Mommy, don't mind this girl. I didn't need to wash my hand. That's all. She came here and started accusing me. Did you take meat from this port? Mommy, don't you trust me again. Look at my mouth now. Nah. Have you eaten today? No. Ask uh, Susan. Susan. No. You now call my son a thief? No. Have you given him food today? No. You are not giving him food. I'm. 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 Mommy, Clifford went into my room, gathered all my clothes, and burnt them. Hmm? Yes, ma. Did you see him go into your room? I didn't see him, but he's putting my clothes outside there now. Where were you? I was looking, I was doing something then. Yes, Did ma. you see him burning them? Yes, ma. He's burning them right now outside there. Why would this boy do this kind of thing? Clifford! What is this rubbish I'm hearing? What did you do with Susan's clothes? Uh, Mama, I burned them. Ma. I burned them. Why would she be telling lies against me every time, Susan? Susan, Susan. For what? You did what? I burned them. Why would you burn them? Don't you ever do that kind of a thing again. Now go inside. I'll teach her a lesson never to report me to my dad. Now go inside your room. I'll make it up to you. Stop crying now. Look, let me warn you. Don't say a word of this to my husband. Do not tell him. See your mouth. I don't want to hear it outside. Go. <laughs> Mommy, please, why have beautiful clothes like my own? She is not a queen like you. You know you're my queen. She's our house girl. So she won't wear the kind of clothes you're wearing. Hmm? Okay, now you go and play. Okay? allowing you thieves to come into my compound. Madam, that's a very serious accusation. 
I don't have thieves in my family. Oh, okay, it is my own family that is loaded with armed robbers. I've not said so. Is that not what you're insinuating when you said you didn't have thieves in your family? So it is my own family that is loaded with thieves. Your son went into my room, took the money that I kept inside my bag. Let me have that money because I'm sure he must have given it to you. And if, I, if you don't produce that money within five minutes, else heaven will come down to you. Obina, Ma. did you take her money? I would even enter her house today. Obina, are you sure? You've been at seventy two. Did you take her money? I don't think I'm going to. Clifford. Yes, Daddy. What happened? Mm, yes. We were playing in the parlor. I went to use myself. By the time I came back, I couldn't see him again. I went to the boys' court that to look for him. He wasn't there. By the time I came back to the house, I saw him coming out from my mommy's room. I'm sure he was the one that took the money. Me, Clifford. Did I even come into your house today? Shut up your mouth, you thief. Liar. At this your tender age, you have developed a strong heart. Uh, Obi, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Leonard. You heard what Clifford said. Yes, Chief. <laughs> it's coming to me as a shock. Because my son has always been a decent and hard-working boy. I don't know what to make of it. Uh, well, I must say that uh, this is a very big embarrassment. But it's your son. I would hate to see him grow into a miscreant as a result of poor upbringing. You must do something about this. I promise you, it will not happen again. And the useless mother was even challenging me in my compound. Can you imagine that? I was not challenging you, madam. I was only appealing to you to yes, be calm. Okay. You were appealing to me to be calm. Am I a Supreme Court? Or do I look to you like a boiling pot Obi. that you would want to calm down? Calm. It's okay, Obi. It's okay. Leonard, I want you people to listen. I don't want any more of such problems in this compound. I've always preached peace all my life. This is how I want us to live in this compound. Do I make myself clear? I promise you, Chief, it will not happen again. You can all go. Thank you, sir. Sorry, madam. So this is all you can say? They can all go while my money is still missing? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You have brought in thieves into this compound, and you are telling me it's okay. It is not okay. It is not okay. Uh, well, I'm not... You will give me my money, oh. Well, I'm not convinced. So, just leave it at that. I won't leave it at that. You must make sure that you pay me back my money. Since you are harboring thieves in the compound, and you are not convinced. You are not convinced. It's your own son that stole the money now. Oh, do now, tell me the truth. Papa, I did not do it. Clifford lied. He did not take the money. He's not the one. He should have known that. I believe you, my son. But I want you to learn something in life. Temptations such as this make it a man. Hmm? So what you now do is make sure you read your book and work very hard in life so that no man will take you for a ride because of your status. Papa, it's because you are poor. That's what I'm choosing us now. You are right. We might be financially poor, but the truth is that we are rich in the spirit. Hmm? Always remember that. Don't pay evil for evil. As for Clifford, let him continue to be your friend. Don't you ever look on him as if he's your enemy, alright? That's good. Proving that you're a big boy, eh? We are, we are not in business. I also have the nice things that you like, like video CD, mm -hmm. video game. And then, uh, eh? Hey. Get me correct camera phone. Camera phone? Samsung. Neat, neat. Yes. Even if you want free, eh? Uh, okay, now. Bye. Oh. Yeah, I need to. I need to have for it.
Yeah, I don't think that's good. I don't think that's good. Mm -hmm. So you are still and Why would that be angry when you told everyone I was in tears? And you got out this morning. I mean, my mom, you know we are friends. You don't need to be angry now. Okay, let's check out my new workman. Go away, Jerry. I mean, I said check out this new workman. This new workman I'm going to read. Oh, you are chasing me. You are chasing me away, my father's house. What are you saying? How did you know? I I saw him sneak in and out of the room that day, putting something into his pocket, but he didn't notice I was around. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, sir. You know I don't tell lies. You knew these things, and you kept quiet. I'm sorry, sir. I was afraid of Madame, sir. Clifford! Clifford! Yes, sir. Come here. Come here. So, you have the audacity to steal in this house and open your dirty mouth and lie to me? You! I didn't take any money. Will you shut up? Didn't you sneak into your mother's room? I'm so what if I sneak into my mother's Look at this rat. I will kill you. Look at it. Look at this rat. Come on. I will kill you in this house. Keep like this. Mom. Keep like this. Mommy. Free. Free spot. Mom. What is happening here? Chief, you want to kill me? Chief, I will kill you. Give him a look. Ah, why are you putting him as if he's a mentor? If I kill you, stay out of this woman. Stay out of what? I will not bring a thief in this house. Who is a thief? Your son. Your How dare you call your son a thief? Eh, what did he steal? He stole your money. And then you want to kill him? You. What did you tell my husband? I'm sorry. About I'm, about sorry. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. Leave my room. 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 Do you have something with my house? Girl. What? Then why are you protecting her? Let's go. Studying hard. Sorry, I didn't mean to stay. Well, I was just going to Hmm. So, this is how I'll be forced to study my books. It is my turn to write down. Yes, it is. That's the way life is. You know, you need to sacrifice something in order to be able to make something, to get something out of life. And I really need to pass this exam. Yes, I believe you'll pass because you really study hard. And that is why I brought something that will help you replenish the lost vitamins in your brain cells. Wow. Oh, that's nice of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, guess what? I applied for a scholarship at Howard University, London. And if I pass, that means I'll be one year ahead of my own mates. Well, that's, that's good. And you, you can pass, I think so, because you're intelligent and you're hardworking. You will pass. Just work hard, that's all. Thank you. So what are you studying? It's uh, essential economics. And what do you want to become? Well, I want to be an accountant. Oh, 
Adeze, what are you doing here? I came to stay with Obina to help. He was really studying hard. I can't. Get back into the house. Mommy, there's nothing wrong with staying. Don't, Don't argue with me. I said, get back into the house. Now, you refrain. What were you doing with my daughter? Nothing, my life. She said she came to encourage you. Shut said. up your mouth! My daughter is now your encourager. Let me have that list, please. If you want to live a good life, get out of poverty first. Now, listen to me and listen good. If I ever see you near my daughter, I will kill you. My daughter is not your class. If you need any girl to encourage you, then go and look for a poor wretched girl like your type. Not my daughter. Poor wretched thing. Letter into the university. Eh? <laughs> into the university now. Eh? You go to the university. Yes, mama. You're being Yes, mama. Ah! <laughs> naked. No, wait. My son will go to the university. Yes, mama. And you come a graduate. Yes, mama. Obina! <laughs> hey! Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, you've made me happy. You forgot to Yes, yes. Oh. Mama, is something wrong? Obinda, I am really happy. I am so proud of you. But I am worried. Worried about what? Money. Money is my worry. I hear investment education is so expensive. Can we afford it? Mama, I am not going to allow poverty to cheat me out of this opportunity. I have some money that I've saved and I'm going to use it. When I get there, I'll manage anyhow. Anyhow. Mm. Mama, please be happy for me. I'm happy for you, my <laughs> son. I'm happy. I'm happy for you. Oh, yeah. Papa is not Oh, my God. Don't stress. Don't stress. Don't stress. It's not going to help you in any way. Anyway, these are the textbooks I used when I took my exam. I brought them for you. Now, I bought these with hard-earned money, so please take good care of them. And if you have any questions, just ask me, okay? Obina, you must be mad. Something is wrong with you. Did I tell you if I wanted a trailer load of textbooks, I can't afford them? Clifford, you asked me how I passed my jam. Abby, now this is the answer. I don't suffer. Obina, take this cockroach infested textbook and dump them in the dustbin. I don't need them. Clifford, help yourself now. Help yourself. Read your books and pass your jam so that you can go into the university with your friends, your mates. Oh, are, you, are you mad? How dare you insult me? Take this test and get out. Get out! My friend, get out!
you now take your time. I'll go break your head one day for this answer. Who, who be your brother? Do we look alike? A affair. Once come and show now that you don't do. We'll see this is your reading. Where to take it to? Maybe this compound will be. Sorry. Cleave, you don't suffer. So, be now, what can advise me? Me, give me book, make I read. Sorry. Hey. Mommy, come and one open and the mother. Hey. Hey, I go bond there for that house. Why didn't you go for your exams? Uh, Daddy, I'm, uh, I'm no longer interested in writing that exam. Uh, I, I can't pass it. I, I told you that you you should you should do something. Give me some money. Let, let me settle that. Give me two hundred k so that I can settle up the visit or so that they allow me to do what I want to do and pass the exam. Let's see. You see, you say you don't have money. Give you two hundred thousand naira. So, you just woke up this morning and decided on your own not to go for the exams because I didn't give you money. Listen, son. If you think you will be a school dropout and still remain under my roof, you are joking. Uh, but but uh, the visitors are disturbing us now every day. Money, money, money. And they catch you with something now. They say you go to prison. Me, I don't want to go to prison. I want to go to South Africa. Listen, shut up. Is your mother that is encouraging you? What have I not done for you? I put you in the best schools. I buy the best clothes for you. I have done everything that a father should do for a child. Yet, what do I have in return? Nuisance! Waywardness! Foolishness! Uh, it's in my own thought that, that, that you, know, you know how to shout. If it's a business now, you give up whatever she, 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 she asks for. Me, I will not go to that school again. I, I, I'm the oldest person in that, in that school. All these small small kids, they'll be laughing at me. Get out! Me, I want to go to South Africa. Uh -huh. Am I not smoking in my father's house? Eh? What is your business? Mind your business, oh. So, because because it's your father's house, you know, you know, you know, you, you know, be smoking Igwabi. Who told you, Zibo? Do you know Igwabi has cigar? Is, is this not cigar smoking? You want to go and gossip now, she? Mm. So, you, 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 daddy has been right all the while. You're just pushing this family to the edge, eh? God punish you. Satan will damage your life. You get mad? Listen, if you don't get out of this place now, I'll use this smoke to, to pluck off your eyes. Come and get out of this place. Gossip. See, I can't tell that. Listen, if you tell daddy anything, eh, you smoke this Ibo, I'll kill you. You smoke, I'll, I'll come to your room and I'll snuff you with, with Ibo and you idiot. You want to go and tell, tell daddy? Go and, go and tell him, you see what I'll do to you, idiot. If you tell him, I'll tell mommy that you're smoking too. Good girl. I'm telling you, telling you, good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. Do you think I don't know your boyfriend? I'll go and tell that day. All this money that you're packing, you go and give it to a boy. Idiot. You go and tell now, you know what will happen. The person. If you tell, I go tell. Who go to tell? No, it's a small thing, I go down, they cry. Mommy will support me. Oh. I 
Carry your bag. I've been driven you from school. I know it's morning. <laughs> well, I just came back for the weekend, Sean, to see if I can get some money, you know now. Hey, but university life don't time, you know, serious. I beg you, is it not a book that you people go there to read? You want to come and pose now? No, see, university life is different, so ha, you spend so much money, you will buy textbooks. I beg you, save me all those uh, wretched experience. It's all right, I'm sorry. Wait now. To the verse. So come on, play with person. They play with you now. I won't come take a person now. Hey, come. You one girl. One fine girl. What I just discovered from neighborhood. She they live here. One fine girl. You know, she dark. She's girl blind man body. You know, you know the kind. <laughs> so I want you to use that your you know university experience. Kajoha, bring her come house. Cliff, you know I don't like things like this now. I don't relate with girls and you know quite well. Why can't you call her for yourself? I've been waiting the worry now. What is your stress? Every time I will tell you, you'll be challenging me in my father's house. What is wrong with you? Are you mad? We have been helping you parasite for years old. Now it's time for you to help me that you're giving me stories. It Can hasn't you? come to the point of insults, okay? It is okay. Uh, listen, I have serious business with this girl. Eh? I'm saying something important now. You're telling me stories. I, I need this girl. I need to groove this girl. The hell when I tell you so. Just stay here. If the girl comes out, you understand? Kaju, I bring her compass. If you don't bring her compass, me, the only other compound no. The hell when I tell you so. Because I go just burn your family inside that compound. When they worry yourself. Just stay here. Oh, Wait for her. Cliff, Cliff, this is the last time. The very last time I will call a girl for you. I don't like that kind of business. I bet go, Joe. Just a claim. I say it be Rachel, Rachel. It be pastor. Maybe now get they eat your money for school. Come here, come they pretend they pose. Pastor. You know, my father is a very rich man, eh? and uh, I want to transfer some money into your life. Do you know you're a beautiful girl? Thank you. Eh? I will take care of you. Eh? you. Do you understand? Yeah. Eh? I, I saw you the other day. I said, God, who is this beautiful girl in my area that I have not seen? Do you know I've not seen you before? Really? And I was the one that sent that stupid boy to go and call him. Mm -hmm. You know, he was shaking that time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Eh? <laughs> so, why are you at home? On holidays. Uh, where are you schooling? Esut. Esut. Ah, so, which secondary school is that? <laughs> secondary school is high institution. High institution? Yeah. So, what are you reading now? Math school. Eh, hey, mathematics. <laughs> it's near mathematics. Ah. Yeah. Uh, oh, baby, you're beautiful. Thank you. Uh, tell me, do you have a boyfriend? Yes. So, uh, let's do now. Mm. Mm. It's too early. I'm just not. It, what we're going to do next tomorrow, next year, we can equally do it now. It does not change anything. No. Why are you doing like this? Okay, why did you come here in the first place? Huh? Don't be distant. It's not painful. No. No. You don't understand. No. Okay. I'm doing it gently. No. I'm not going to pay you. Boys are very, very lucky. The girl's parents are not willing to press charges. But you boys will remain with us here for the next one week. Sergeant, sir, take them back to the cell. I'm not part of it. I'm not part of it, sir. 
I said it long ago that this slow poison was going to corrupt my son, but you won't listen. Every bad thing that Clifford knows today, it is Obi that taught him. Criminal. It's okay, it's okay. It is not okay. It's not okay, okay Chief. Why would he go and bring a girl for my son? But, but, but he threatened me. He said he didn't Shut me. up! Said Shut up! Hey! You want to put it against my son like you've always done. It will not happen. Criminal. Um, Obina. If I'm not surprised at my son's behavior, I'm very much disappointed in you. But let me warn you. If this should ever happen again in this compound, I will throw you out. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. And do you, Leonard? If it ever happens again, I will hold you solely responsible. Chief, I promise it will never happen again. And let me say this. If not for my rapport with Mr. Ahmad, both of you could have gone to jail for 18 years if this matter had gone to court. Chief, please, I promise it will never happen again. Yes. Now get out of here, all of you. Everybody. You see what I told you when you went and brought these people into my compound? You see, I told you. I told you, but you won't listen. May you not make noise though, because you never beat your you, 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 you they make noise, you never see anything. Now wait. <laughs> Now, give me your father's number. I said, give me your father's number now. 080. 080. 344. 344. 535. Come, which grammar is the blue? I can't hear you. Speak well now, huh? 555. 535. 1. 1. 1. See, I'm See, Talk to your father. Tell your father we need money. Eh? Tell him we need one million. Shut up. Five million. Five million. Five million. Tell your father we need five million. Five, five million. Talk. Only money. One hundred million. Give it. Chief. Yes. You heard your daughter's voice. Yes. We are giving you one hour to produce five million naira. Chief. Chief. Please. Come to Roundabout Junction and drop the money. If not, in the next one hour, your daughter will be history. Remind me five million again. Five million. Two, two, one. Crazy, I got to call you. Who go give you two, two, one? If you're mad, one, one million, I go give you. I mean, three million. I won't buy visa. I won't buy ticket. I will take go. Go start and play. Hey, 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 Before getting himself involved with that rubbish. Look at Obina. Born the same day. Raised in the same compound. He's tied the university studying accountancy. Where's my own son? In the police cell. A secondary school dropout. A vagabond. A fool. Hey! I take exception to you calling my son names. How dare you compare our son with the son of a nobody? How dare you, chief? Chief. No matter what. Clifford is still your son, and you must get him free from that smelly police cell. Nonsense. 
I warned him. I won't lift a finger. If he's going to rot in that police cell, let him rot there. Impossible. Chief, I said impossible. I will not allow my only son rot in a police cell. If you won't get him out, I will watch this. to be my husband's good friend. Yes, and uh, classmate. Good. And you've been here watching problems happening in his family and you did not talk to him. Uh, what happened, madam? Is it not because of your so-called good son that chief is punishing my only son? I don't know what I said, madam. What you don't know? How will you know? Are you pretending not to know that my son is in the police cell? Oh, this poor Clifford. Why is he always giving his father trouble now? Huh? Huh? Hmm? Are you cursing my son in front of me? No. Oh, you want us to sit down here and gossip about my son? Huh? Go and warn Chifo. Go and tell him to release my son from the police cell. Go and warn Chifo. Because... I will make this house uncomfortable for everybody, including you. Go and talk to your friend, Gloria! Hey. Uh, yes. Uh, it's alright. Let me see the contract paper first. Yes, come in. Yes, uh, you can send somebody with it. It's okay. Once I go through it, it's okay. I will assign it. Okay, that's all right. Uh, Leonard, yeah. hope no problem. Hello, no problem, Chief. Okay, sit down. Uh, Madame told me yesterday that uh, you refused to bail your son Clifford from the cell. It is true that Clifford has a uh, Disappointed all of us. But I do not know any dust bill that our children are dumped. So, Chief, please forgive me. And even if you want to punish him, let it be outside the cell. Um, Leonard, have I not been a good father to my children? Why must my own son bring so much pain to me all the time? Every night, I stay awake thinking about this boy. Asking God where i gone wrong. Asking God if I deserve this punishment for my own son. Well, Ch Chief, you know, children of these days, they are very hard to train. But your own son is behaving well. He listens to you. My own son Clifford does not listen to me. Uh, Chief, uh, you know, every child to his own behavior. But I still believe that Clifford will change. Please, let's give him another chance. Give him another chance. It's okay. I've heard you. I will see what I can do. So, Chief, that's all I've come to tell you about. Oh, that's okay. Thanks for your concern. I'll be going out in 30 minutes, so get the. Okay, Chief. Look 
that it. I made it. I agree with it. <laughs> Whatever ignited this excitement, I'm sure it will be very good. Look at it first. <laughs> I, oh my god. What? This is good. Brilliant. Oh my god. That's my daughter. Come on, come on. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I've always expected this result from you. Thank you. Oh, this is good. A scholarship to study business at me? Yes. In Howard London University? Yes. Oh, this is good. This is good. Oh, I'm happy. This is a great news to the family. Ah, oh, see, even like let them keep their scholarship. I don't mind spending everything to train you through the university. Okay? Thank you. That's right. <laughs> That's good. Oh, this calls for celebration. We have to start somewhere. Let me just go. Let's go, let's go. Pick up this. Let's go. Oh, that's not that. <laughs> Your mother needs to see the letter. <laughs> go, let's go. This is good. Oh my god. Ah. Go over there, study hard, and keep your head straight, okay? I definitely will try my best. I've been praying for this for a very long time. Yeah, I knew that. Obi. Yes? You know you're a very intelligent man and hardworking. I need you to encourage my brother. I believe he can still change. I trust you to do that. <laughs> you flatter me. But I promise I'll do my best, okay? Now, if you go over there, study hard, and take care of yourself. Thank you, I will. happening here? Adese, you are traveling to London this night and you are still here. Come on, get inside the car. <coughs> you have a flight to catch. Okay, let's go. I told you never to hesitate to tell me if you need my help at any time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Chief, for not telling you. Anyway, I made a check for 100,000 naira. Go and cash it. I want that boy to go back to school immediately. 100,000? Chief, I don't know how to thank you. It's okay, it's okay. And uh, tell your son that he shouldn't bother to come and thank me. Because I don't want my wife to know about this check. Okay, Chief. God will bless you, Chief. Sorry, sorry. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much.